Hi guys. So um, for my last project, I was looking for something like tree-like structure, right? You might have seen tree-like structure and that would be something like this, where you will be having a node and that node will get divided into multiple nodes and further that will get divided into multiple sub nodes and so on. This is a very good type of visualization when you have hierarchical data, right? For example, let's say you are working for an organization where the organization is generating, let's say, 1 million of sales every year. Now the company want you to create something where they can see that, okay, out of 1 million of sales, how much they are generating, you know, from ABC estate. Further, in ABC estate, like let's say in state A, they are generating 100,000 of sales, right? So out of 100,000 of sales, which city is generating how much sales? Further in city, maybe like, you know, which category is generating how much sales? So basically, it's like, you know, there is total sales of 1 million and you need to go granular. Although there are multiple charts which can fulfill this work, but a tree-like structure is definitely one of the great way to show this kind of, you know, um, view. You can do that in Tableau as well, but uh, I found, you know, little limitations. You need to work a little hard, right? You need to create a lot of calculated fields to get, a, get it done in Tableau. But I found a very quick and easy solution in Power BI. So today I'm going to show you all how you can create a quick decomposition tree in Power BI. So let's start with it. I'm just going to page one and this is the data I have connected, right? This is a sample superstore data. I'll share that data with you all as well so that uh, you know you can, you can um, use that for your project as well, right? It's a very simple data source where you have a free, uh, you know, few records, right? Um, of certain you know um, organization right so what i'll do is i'll quickly go through you know the visualization part and i'll select quickly this decomposition tree can you see this yeah and now let's say the hierarchy that i want would be like you know first we will be having country name then state name then city inside city we can have category name and then subcategory right so let's start uh, you know selecting it so I need city, so I'll just select city. I need category also, so I'll select category. I need country. I need state, so state would be a little lower, right? Uh, here you go. And then I need subcategory as well, so here I've selected that. And you need all these based upon the sales, so select sale as well. Remember, for any decomposition tree, you need to have at least one major. Because currently you can see I have only selected dimensions and it says no field to analyze. If you click on see details, it says no field to analyze. Can't display this visual, right? So let's select one measure as well and that's sales. And now you can see the graph has started coming in shape. I'll just expand this particular, you know. Here you go. right and now this is your total sales right something around 12.6 million so once you'll click on this plus it will ask you what next you want to show so next i want to show is country so i'll just go for country so a lot of countries will be shown to you united states australia france china germany mexico india and so on further to country what do you want to show so i want to show a state so i'll just click plus any of the plus and can select a state further you need to tell them or tell the system like what further you want to select. So in a state, I want to select city. So again, just do the same thing. In city, I want to select category. So I'll do category here. And then further, at last, I want to select subcategory. So here you go. Now let's start reading it. So there is a total sales of 12.6 million for the for the organization, out of which around you know 2.3 million is coming from United States. Out of 2.3 million in United States, California is giving 457,000 of sales, right? In California, San Francisco is giving 112,000 of sales. Out of 112,000 of sales, you know, office supplies is 42,000, furniture is 36,000, and technology is 34,000. And in technology, which is generating around 34,000 of sales, phone is contributing for 13,000, machine for 8,000, Accessories for 6,000, copiers for 6,000, and so on. 
So this is a really good way to, you know, quickly create the relationship between, you know, starting point until the end point, right? You can go as granular as it can be. So let's say tomorrow I need to sue for Germany. So I just click Germany. You can see the United States have now been, you know, uh, collapsed, right? Now the I'm seeing the states in Germany. I click, click Berlin, right? So in Berlin, I am having only one city that's called Berlin, right? Technology categories or whatever category it is, and then subcategories are there, right? So this way you can play around and can get the deal. Now, the good thing is at the top, you can see what country or what fields have been selected, right? So that's a very good, you know, uh, feature over there. If I click copiers, right? I haven't defined anything further. So it's nothing selected over there, right? Nothing being displayed over there. Now you can go ahead and format this decomposition tree as well. So there would be general formatting if you want to select width and height, right? You can click on analysis if you want to do certain analytical part or the base is you can click on tree and here you can select density, right? So density can be either default, dense or sparse. If I click sparse, did you see the changes, right? So depending upon, you know, what you like, probably you can play around it. I like, uh, you know, this uh, default one. Default seems to be pretty good for me. So I'll keep as it is. Then what's the primary color? If you want to change some color, you can do that as well. Like for example, you can see currently the branches color have been changed, right? Similarly, what connector you want, whether you want this one or round one, right? See here. So depending upon what exactly you need, you can play around it. Default action, what it should be, filter or highlight, right? We want filter or highlight. So I have selected that. Then data bars, right? What is the positive bar you need? So I need positive bar, something like, let's say this one. So you can see now the color have been changed. Negative bar, I want something like this one. We don't have any negative data. So, you know, it's not visible. If you will have some time, it would be visible to you, right? And yeah, um, I don't want anything else. So I'll just keep it as it is. If you want to provide tree header, you can do that as well, right? And many other kind of formatting, whatever you want. Now, let me show you something, something, you know, more over here. Something more in the sense, let's say I want to also, uh, let me, put some space over here and create a kind of, let's say matrix, right? And this matrix I'd quickly show, you know, uh, the details, like I'll select subcategory, inside subcategory, I can select, let's say, you know, order ID, I can select customer name, right? Uh, order ID can be over here, right? Uh, or oh, let's do one thing, let's create a table. Yep, that would be better. I'll also select maybe like, you know, um, how many quantity, how many profit, right? Let's select sales as well. Uh, yeah, that should be, I think, good, right? Let's select discount as well, market as well, order date, and so on, yep. Right, in order date, you can just play around it. I need, all the dates, so I can select simple order date. I don't want you know it to be separated, and that's it. I'm not working on formatting for now, guys, because you can do it at your end, right? And now let's 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 play around it. So I'll just collapse it, right? Let's play around it. So I want to see the sales in let's say you know uh, Australia, right? I clicked on Australia. In this, I want to click on Queensland, right here, Brisbane, and then technology category, maybe copiers, right? Can you see this? Now all this particular, you know, table has been filtered for copiers. And these are the orders we have in copiers subcategory inside technology category, Brisbane, Queensland, Australia, right? So you can just play around it and get your work done. So that's about decomposition tree in Power BI. I really found this very easy, right? To create compared to other tools, right? And even if you need one, you can quickly create this way. Thank you.